Hello, and welcome to the review channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this 3 by 5 foot poly cotton US flag and pole. So this flag is 70% uh, polyester and 30% cotton. It is also a fade, has a fade resistant die. Uh, comes with a 6 foot steel pole with a gold eagle. It's mounted on top, looks like this. There's also a steel bracket for you to connect it to a uh, windowsill or anything like that. Flag size is three, 33 and a half inches by 60 inches. And also this flag is 100% made in the USA. This flag is made by Annan Flag Makers, which are based out of Roseland, New Jersey. The company that makes these flags, which is Canon Flag Makers, they have a rating scale here for all of their flags based on if you want to use it daily um, for high winds or seasonal. Uh, this flag is recommended for seasonal use as it's not as sturdy as other flags that they make. So it is rated at seasonal. Other ones, uh, options that you have are daily and high wind. So I'm guessing those are a little bit more durable and can withstand the um, weather and other forces of nature. So here are all the contents of the package laid out. You have your steel bracket right here, the gold eagle that goes on top. It's not really gold, it's made out of plastic, but it's uh, painted in gold color, so it gives it a golden look. It's really nice. They did include screws, which look like this. These screws are meant to be used for the mounting bracket. And then these are your brackets, which will hold the flag in place. And then here is your steel flag pole and your flag. So the instructions state to mount the bracket on the windowsill, side of house, porch rail, post, etc. Um, this is the bracket that they're talking about. So I will show you guys how I'm going to put this on later. First, I'm going to assemble the flag. So to get started, it says assemble the flag pole by inserting tapered sections into non-tapered sections. So let's do that. So these are the tapered sections over here. You have these grooves so that it's made a little bit smaller so it can fit into this section here, which is the round end. So we're going to just insert these right in. one connected to here. All right. I'm gonna give it a little twist so that it fastens a little bit. It's gonna stay on there. Twist that up a little bit. All right. Should be come out. All right. My flag is pretty sturdy. Flag pole. Make sure this is sturdy because if it's not, it might just break off and fly away on you. Top is swiveling a bit. Let me take a look. Hang on. This is moving a little bit, so I'm gonna fasten this by twisting. Okay, now it's got a little wiggle in it, but that's fine. This one is uh, very tight. Then it says to insert the eagle ornament on top of assembled pole. So this will be the top of my pole. And I will insert the eagle ornament right up in there. Okay, very easy. Then it says to remove set screw from fastener and slide fastener up pole to just below the ornament. It's a picture here that shows how and where you should place it. So just below the ornament should be right there. So let's take the screw off. Take our fastener, we'll take this off. Then this piece is gonna be slid up the pole. So let's start with the bottom of the pole. Put that in there and slide it all the way up. Gets a little tough at the connections. Gotta push it a little hard. Twisting helps. All 
I'm gonna get my other one and slide that in as well. What you're gonna do is take this part, put this right in here in the flag, and then just screw it back in. You wanna make sure you wanna get this as tight as possible so that your flag won't fly away on you. You wanna make sure your flag is nice and Spread out so that you have a nice straight flat here. Right about there, straight. And the screw. There it is. All right. And you just want to tighten that. Nice and tight so it won't slide up and down. All right, there we go. And there you have your assembled flag. All right, now let's go put this thing on my porch. For this portion, all you're gonna need is your bracket, the screws that are included, and a drill, or maybe you can use a screwdriver. I think it'll be tough to use a screwdriver on wood. So I'm going to be using this Milwaukee drill that I have. First thing you want to do is find a place where you want to put your bracket. I used to have a flag on here before and it was right here. So I already have the indenters and the cutout and everything. So I'm just going to put it back right into the same spot where I had the old one. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bracket and put it on the line where I want it. And take my screw, put that right in there. Since I already have a hole, I have something to hold the bracket up. It's gonna look something like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just drill these in. Here's how it should look when you're done. It's nice and sturdy, it's not going anywhere. And then you just wanna take your flag right in here make sure it goes into these grooves like so, like such start with the first one get into the second one twist and pull down make sure it's down all the way it's being held by both handles this top one over here and this bottom one there you have it The flag has a very nice quality fabric. Seems like it can withstand the weather and different forces of nature. Also, the pull is very sturdy. I would recommend this product. For a review channel rating, I give this product a seven for its purpose. And that's it for my review of the poly cotton flag and pole. If you like this review, please leave a like, consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.